Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. Let's examine how small hole EDM works. We have a few pieces up here, laying here that has been drilled with small hole EDM, and it's similar to RAM EDM, but there's a number of differences. Let's look at this diagram. This is the workpiece. And here we have high pressure dielectric fluid entering into the electrode. And the pressure is up to 10 times more than RAM EDM. And that also helps to stiffen the electrode. And the spindle is rotating, so it's constantly rotating. And this, and this hollow electrode, that's where the dielectric fluid is coming out. And here the escaping dielectric fluid, removing eroded particles. And that's important. EDM is a stress-free operation. And for making this video is for wire, RAM, and small hole EDM, I figure I'm gonna prove that it is. I took this quarter-inch piece of tool steel and I purposely didn't clamp it to EDM a hole into it. Now it does wobble, and the wobble is caused not from the EDMing, it's from the water pressure. Let's go and see what happens. The rotating electrode, you see, is a previously used electrode. Now the dielectric fluid is turned on. Since the electrode is used, the water coming out isn't perfectly straight. But once inside the hole, it really doesn't matter if the water coming out is straight or a little wobbly. The pressure of the dielectric fluid caused the steel to wobble, but it managed to cut a hole into the part without being held. Once the electrode penetrates through, you can see the dielectric fluid squirting out. We just witnessed the EDMing a small hole into this piece of quarter inch tool steel. Let's examine actually what takes place as the electrode does the cut. What happens is high pressure dielectric fluid enters the center of the electrode. And remember, the dielectric fluid acts as a resistor. And so this high pressure fluid here, which is basically the ionized water, we often say water, and this acts like a resistor now. And when energy is applied to the electrode, sparking occurs. And notice the erosion that takes place. And also some erosion takes place from the electrode. And there's a servo mechanism that always maintains a gap. If this electrode ever touches the workpiece, then there's a short circuit. Now there's another very important function for the high pressure dielectric fluid. And there it is, it removes the eroded particles, as you can see. As the EDMing takes place, the high pressure fluid pushes out the eroded particles. I'd like to speak a little bit about the electrodes. You can see that we have various sizes. There's a copper electrode, there's a brass electrode, there's another taller brass electrode. And depending on the material, determines whether we're going to use a, a brass or a copper electrode. So for different materials, we'll use copper and and some materials will use brass. Let's look at the next diagram. Notice the electrode has holes inside of it. Multiple holes. And it just doesn't have one hole in it. Now the small ones do it. They're very small. You can get away with one hole. But the larger electrodes have to have multiple holes in it. And here the reason why a center spike or needle is produced because the spark gap is not sufficient to remove the center core. So it's sparking and it's leaving a core, and that core is gonna create problems. You have to remove that core. So what they do, they put multiple holes in the electrode. And I want you to take a look now at this drawing that I'm going to be showing you, how they make these multiple hole electrodes. We took a picture of this electrode, and I imported it into Photoshop and I cut out one of the portions of that electrode. 
notice what you see. You see a squished electrode with one hole. If you look closely, you will find there are three of these. What the manufacturers did, they placed three electrodes within a larger tube, and then they squeezed the entire electrode into the proper size. And that ends up being an electrode with seven cavities for dielectric fluid to flow through. Another feature I'd like to stress to you is the ability for a small hole EDM to drill holes on curved surfaces. This is a hardened ball bearing that you see here. And it was drilled, this hole, on the side of it. Let's look at the diagram and I'll explain the reason why. The reason why you can drill a hole on a curved surface is because the electrode never contacts the workpiece. And that's the key. Remember, the electrode and the workpiece cannot touch each other. If they do, there's a short circuit. It's just the sparks jumping across to the workpiece that erodes the material. And here you can see a finished hole on a curved surface. And the key is the electrode guide that holds the electrode in position so you can EDM a hole on a curved surface. I've explained to you how small hole EDM works. And if you want to know more about it, there's a free book on our website. It's called Complete EDM Handbook. My son Steve, who's a mechanical engineer, and I wrote this book. And it also has a lot of information in there. And also trade schools and colleges use it as a textbook, and there's questions in the back. And there's also a lot of information on why EDM and RAM EDM. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.